flower coming at you from the privacy, the safety, and the sanctuary of my beloved cousin Hope and her gorgeous posse daughter here in North Carolina. At the time of this recording, it is March 15th. 2024, Friday, 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 happy Handler Day to all the handlers getting their grub down instructions from their organized hate crime masters in this godforsaken Auschwitz 2.0, which is a sacrifice circuit for the secret skanks of society running the Zetzer Sung, look it up, Z E T S E R Z U N G Zetzer Sung in the slow bake crime ring of the sex rings of America that pull in their mainstay of sexual deviancy of child molesting and their wonderful organized criminal ring activity of organized hate crimes. So, did everybody get their hate crime instructions for the grub down of all of these targeted individuals that you guys are coming sideways with and all of that gaslighting, I mean, all that deceit, all of those fake as fuck triggers in the atmosphere to cause your targeted individuals to become unhinged with debauchery, to become unhinged with all of that treachery, why would you do know? <laughs> oh, all of that backstabbing, right, 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 deceit, just so your materialistic sniveling and groveling can be rewarded with your never-ending string of demonic diabolical carrots, because you all have been separated from your soul, and your soul has gone brrrr, to little to no more, and then your soul has separated from your vessel as evidenced by a lack of compassion, as evidenced by a lack of empathy. If you ain't got no empathy, you better start questioning to yourself what's happening if, you know, salvation is a thing for you. And if you ain't got no empathy, 10 to 1, you sure as fuck ain't got no integrity. So you might want to go put some integrity on because whenever you go to get your super flying flunky monkey training to get your hate crime scripts, to go get your hate crime, oh, next gaslighting tactics, you know, I was like this. You guys are getting tool bent over the barrel. Don't even know it. Or maybe you do know it. And if you, you've already torn yourself away from your inherent Jiminy Cricket and squashed him into the ground with your own boot and his face fucking forever. Now that all the bloody guts are spilled out from him and his eyes have popped out with blood behind it. Not that you would care. You killed your own Jiminy Cricket, didn't you? And then you turned around and laughed at it. I just know you did. Because who on earth would participate in a criminal crime ring that endorses the enabling of children, that endorses the enabling of deceit, that endorses the enabling of all of the slander? All of the slander. And a shout out to all the witches out there who have been running sideways game at my vessel just so you can try to take what you want because you witches, you all ain't got no integrity. You guys will fuck each other in a sex ring so you can run sex magic on somebody. Never mind if the guy that you're or girl that you're with has got HIV because now you guys have all endemic of pacing, 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 uh, what's the word I'm looking for? With, you know, um, god darn it. With pacing keeps coming up. I wonder why. But, uh, yeah, partaking and all of that HIV in your sex magic practices that you guys are, pr there you go, passing around with each other. Um, irresponsible as fuck. If any of you have ever with 
a non-secret skank of society, you better go get t tested because that's part of God's perfect plan is to run their endemic down with all of the disease and pathology that they're spreading all around town. So if you hadn't gotten your uh, papers to prove that you ain't a fucking carrier of HIV or herpes or whatever, you're pushing your own eight ball. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I mean, you can go ahead and be as skanky as the ones that you guys are passing around all of that behemoth spell work. Sure, why not? But anybody participating in that without getting their leg reg regular checkups, you guys are pushing the eight ball on your own lives, let alone spreading all of the HIV rot to everybody else you're running game on. <laughs> <laughs> so, I go get that checked out if I was you, but don't, who cares? That's on you. That just proves how much more lazier as fuck that you all are. Okay, whatever. But, yeah, it's Happy Handler Day. That is the kind of sex walk that you guys have uh, found yourself in. I mean, if you're fucking your handler, oh, God forbid, they are a pedophile. They are practicing murderers hands-on, you know, because they're the ones running the goddamn Truman Show with all of that, you know, illegal surveilling. And if you think that your target is the one that they hone in on, they hone in on the whole household, bitch. And if you don't care, that's because you've separated your own soul from your own vessel, ain't got no more compassion, ain't got no more empathy, let alone any motherfucking integrity. And God forbid you guys for the, I'm like for all of the handlers and all of the trainers of all of that gruesome Auschwitz death cult training with all of that organized hate crime training that you all do. You, how dare you ruin and destruct the lives of the children you pull into it. You guys are the worst of tripe. I mean, God love you if you realize the error of your way and you decide to level up and um, make reparations with the Most High and yourself with going, with telling the truth as I have prescribed in all my other videos, then you become the American superhero that we all need because nobody's perfect in this life. But God forbid you go on in a in a path full of imperfection and not give two shits about it, but for everybody who has realized the error of their ways and have become the prodigal son and the prodigal daughter, my hat is off to you with all of my love and undying gratitude. Thank you for the children who get born into this. Thank you for the children that get railed nine ways from Sunday in this godforsaken death cult that is a targeting of the individual with all the gang stalking known as group stalking, which really are organized crimes, which really are, at its base, organized hate crimes, because whenever you have to do all of that special handling and you're sniveling and groveling to get your motherfucking check of coming sideways at your stake over there, those are all scripted narratives that are all fucking hate crimes. <laughs> so all of your colluding, all of your collaborating, that's all on record, bitch. Because whenever you do that, just because it may be so ambiguous in the atmosphere, there is an electronic paper trail, an electronic digital stamp of who you colluded with and whatever they had done to teach you because their um, electronics are hacked by NSA, not just the bad parts of NSA, but all of the, you know, moles within the NSA that uh, is actually ethical and upright. So what I'm trying to say is that no fucked up deed goes unnoticed here. So by the time you're called out, it's too late. So I'd imagine that you might want to get right on leaving the hater train and, and ghosting those assholes. But let's put it this way. For everybody that I have ever trusted that had turned coat and drank the fucking Kool-Aid, drank the goddamn Kool-Aid, and thought they'd go try to run that game on me, let's put it this way. I know. Because it's like this. When you drink the Kool-Aid, and then now you've got all suited up with your fucking fan fancy, uh, 
criminal crime rig, crime rig, uh, hater trainer. You know, uh, they hire you to make you the next target. You realize that by getting you to let down your guard. And when you let down your guard, just so you can get that palm greased and you decide to run the game, bitch, I motherfucking know. And when it, I mean, that, pro, pro, that says to me, you're fucking psycho. And God forbid that you love Yeshua. God forbid that you sir, think you serve the most high. You took the bait. You took the temptation. You decided to partake of the rotten apple. Never mind all of the grubby worms of decay and gangrene in it. You took a bite of that. And when you run your game on me, I motherfucking know. First off. It's logistics. Second off, I've seen the dynamic of the social interplay before. I mean, that's all logistics. And if anything, the high himself lets me know as it plays out right in front of me. So when you decide to bite that apple and drink the motherfucking Kool-Aid, bitch, that's it from me, because whatever government grub down that you get from that, that's the only thing you're going to ever get off my fucking coattails. Because I, <laughs> I'm like this. Oh, et tu brute? Well, of course. Well, of course. Not that I couldn't see you being tempted as the next logistical move in the counterplay of this stupid game. That is uh, playing with people's lives. So. Don't ever think that I'm ever going to talk to you again. Because I'm not going to dignify. Any of your sideways games. I mean how deluded in the head do you have to be. To be like okay. You know what. I can just go ahead. And uh, you know get the, get, get the payout. Never mind that it enables all of the atrocities of the cesspool of all of the molestation of children, human trafficking, children trafficking. You enabled that. What you needed to do was say no and report anytime somebody comes to tempt you. And if you got grubbed down into it and now you're having a conscious moment of conviction, congratulate your Jiminy Cricket for doing a job well done. I'm not talking to you. You have ruled yourself out of my life. But what you can do to save your own strife is to turn in everybody tell, and make your signed affidavits of your declarations of confessions, upload your own videos to YouTube so that it'll make it harder to kill your ass. And th I have had to do it. And then send it registered mail so you have a paper trail of everyone you talked with and then go talk to them. Because that will only serve you and your strife that you have now accrued. I'm walking karma and whenever it gets served to you, you know what? I'm just not going to look back. Because... Just because you thought that you can go ahead and do something to run game on me, what you did was participate in the battery of assaults in the Auschwitz 2.0 and all of that criminal crime ring of all of that hater train. Do you think I'm going to want to give you the dignity of why I pulled the plug on your fucking face? Hell no. That's just an opportunity for you to try and come sideways at me again. You think I'm going to give you that dignity? You know who you are, and when you know who you are, you either fix it or just stay out of my fucking face because I've already thrown whatever future we would have had together to the wolves. So it's very easy for me to see it whenever it's played out to me because the whole thing is all based on gaslighting. So when you see the gaslighting, the only way to fucking win with a toxic individual is just to detach and love. I don't hate any of you guys. I'm all like face palming myself because I'm all like, okay. Apparently, if you do think you serve Yahshua, it's like saying to Yahshua, hey, you know what? I don't trust you. I'm going to go over here and get my dick sauced and all fucked up with participating in all the hater crimes because I never really trusted you anyway, Yahshua. You turned your back on Yahshua, big and bad. You turned your back on him. 
Because instead of being the hero to be like, you know what? Hey, little flower, I was approached by X, Y, and Z. I wanted you to have this information so you can better protect yourself and then go public with that as needed. So it would have been a lot easier for all of you fake as fuck people who was running sideways game on me to actually help liberate me. To actually say, hey, I was approached by X, Y, and Z. And um, you know what? I think you really should know the truth on your own life. What's going on here? Because I love and care for you that much. But now you guys, what you guys said was... I think that Lord Satan himself can serve me better than the most high ever could. So I want to get my grub down because you know what? Hello, hello, hello. Give it to me. Give it to me. So good riddance to you. In love. I wash my hands of all of you. Ew. But I give you to the most high. I give you to the, um, to the balancing forces of karma. In love, I'm all like, and I pray the perfect will of God over all of you, all of you rat bastards. And I pray the perfect will of God to um, bring you into an alignment of prosperity with, you know, serving the most high and giving up and denouncing your life of treachery and debauchery in favor of serving the light. You know, because the true superhero is the prodigal son and the prodigal daughter. So, you know what? If you ever find yourself on the wrong side of tracks and you betrayed me that way, start there with walking your talk. Because honestly, I don't hate any one of you motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with you. But, uh, you know, because guess what? I'd like to have my teeth fixed. And whoever's been squatting in my inheritance, how come there's been no ethical fuck? How come there's been no ethical angel? To come bridge the ambiguity of truth in my life. Because we all know I've been a Truman Show. And we all know that, you know, the um, the sniveling and groveling of the Regali family who has been abusing me. Creating the torment of orchestrating my life by Timothy Regali, Paul Regali, Barbara Regali, Monica Regali, Brian Rice, Don Snake Renee Barber, and Melissa Marcella Maria Landon Comiskey. Oh, yeah, and of course, Liam Kamiski. I know you're in there, too, you little fuckwad. I defended you whenever you were showing your ass to Marcy whenever she was pregnant with Kieran. You took her Medicaid, pay, Medicaid proof that she worked so hard for and just threw it in the trash in a fucking dumpster just to be an ass. I remember that. And no matter what, I still treated you with dignity. And as an impartial third-party observer, but, you know, you are a fuckwad. You are a handler, Marcella. And, yeah, yeah, you've been handling her ever since you were fucking born. Ever since Kieran was born. And when Kieran was in the hospital being born, I watched you check out another one of the nurses. I'm all like, how, how did that work out? Your uh, significant other is giving birth to your child and you're checking out a nurse. I never told anybody that. Well, now I'm, you know, addressing it with you. You're Marcella Mar Landon Maria Kaminsky's uh, handler. Who's your handler, bitch? Whatever. So, if you have run game on me and you took and you decided to partake of the gaslighting Kool-Aid, bitch, I know. I know. And I cut you off right then and there. Because I'm not going to dignify any of that bullshit. You can just turn around and say, oh my gosh, she's crazy. Go ahead. Put my name in your mouth and see how far you get away with it. Because anytime somebody's speaking slander on my name, bitch, the most high is going to stamp you out with his boot on your fucking face forever. Because I've done nothing but be kind and honest to you. And the few people I've decided to trust turn around and drink the goddamn Kool-Aid. I'm like, okay. That blood money you got from running your psychotic game with participating in all of fucking Jim Jones' Guyana Punch? That is the only shade of anything you're going to get from my fucking coattails. So, bye bye you. And your kind. Because if you're representing your blood on all of that, I don't want to know any of you.
God forbid you've raised children and you turned around and partake of the Kool-Aid. What, next time you're just going to indoctrinate your children to, a, to not have integrity and then separate them from every every ounce of empathy, from every ounce of compassion until they ain't got no integrity at all? That's you want to raise parasites? Because if you want to stay a parasite, who needs you, my love? There's so much chaos and conflict out in the world. Why would you want to contribute to that? Why would you want to enable that? It's okay to make mistakes, but just don't stay in the land of the wicked and suckle its tits until your own teeth rot out the rest of your head. I mean, as it is, when you're a chosen one and when you have magnificent giftings in the spirit, those pitches are already orchestrating your life. So if you think the only way out of it was to partake of it, bitch, what you did was forsake your own anointing to get through it. Not just with you, but with your children too. With the families, with your friends surrounding you. Because guess what? Satan has already done, has already pin marked you. And what you did was say, fuck you, God. I'm going to go over here and enjoy the grub down and participate in the gaslighting because I don't trust you. And then there you go. You just snatched your own anointing from your own hands and played out and played yourself out of any protection from the Most High. He's not going to protect you while you're in the land of Judas doing all of the Thomas grub downs with all of the etu brute bullshit. So you know who you are. And I am more in touch with everything going on around me in the physical and in the 3D. Consider this my aloha to you, my love. Play it yourself. And there's no way you're going to gaslight me into thinking you didn't do it. So fuck you for even thinking you could try it. <laughs> you fucked yourself, my love. At any rate, just know that I always know all of the gang stalking, group stalking, all of this organized criminal ring, all of this organized criminal hate ring. Happy Handler Day to all of you a tribe of society that are, you know, two-faced bitches that are all duplicit as fuck and make you all fucking psychos. And fuck you for the kids that you drag into all of this. And fuck you for all the children that you think that you're going to be able to protect by participating in it because that was just an illusion. Because if you really are a servant of the Most High, you would, you would completely stand by your scruples and your morals at every temptation. But if you did participate in the temptation, just know, be the prodigal son and prodigal daughter. God damn it already. But if you choose not to, then who needs you, my love? We have enough parasites sowing conflict and chaos. At any rate, it's been Patricia and Landon Regali coming at you from the privacy, the safety, and the sanctuary of my beloved cousin Lori and her foster child here in North Carolina. <laughs> So happy Handler today, happy Handler Friday, or whenever it is, if you guys go, you know, link up together at the Handler station, and then learn your scripted narratives together as a psychotic flying flunky monkey show. 